That's right. <laughs> I prepared. I made sure it was that many eaves. <laughs> I remember oh. being a kid and saying that every time. Christmas in the desert. Christmas in the desert. Short sleeves, sunshine, blue skies, temperatures in the 70s. Can't beat that. And our good friends Becky and Myron. Yes. Mm. Ah. So what have we been doing? Well, geez, last Saturday, this week, a lot we has happened. Because um, last Saturday we went to go see our friend Tommy at the street fair. Yeah. And that seems like it was already a long time ago. <laughs> so much has happened. Yep. Yep. Guess we what went. we guess what we bought at the street fair? There's millions of items, tons of vendors, and guess what we got? We bought socks. Socks. <laughs> socks for Christmas. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Exactly. It was so funny too because it wasn't planned. It was just we saw the the booth there with like all these different socks, and it was like, you need socks, Tom. We'll go get you some socks. Everybody needs socks. Yeah. Kind of like everybody poops. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and we went to my birthday dinner. We did. Okay. We did. Who has ever gone to Denny's and ordered a Grand Slam and said, I want bacon and sausage and hash browns, and toast. I'll have wheat toast or white toast or... Yeah, you said wheat toast. Whatever. Yeah, and I ended up with white toast, but they didn't, they didn't bring any eggs. No eggs. And she didn't question it at all. Because I guess it's build your own, so you get to pick your own items. And I just thought And you just assumed that the eggs were already part of it. I just figured it's scrambled eggs, that's what's going to come with it. <laughs> and you no picked eggs. the rest of it. <laughs> Check the Throw Up Thursday video that we just did. It's got video from the no egg delivery. Yep. From the no egg man. <laughs> no eggs. What? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> so that was good. That was good. And then on yeah. Sunday we went over to uh, Sam's Family Spa in Desert Hot Springs and visited some friends that we met two years ago yeah. when we stayed there for same place we met Becky and Myron a while and had a great time. It's kind of a surprise for me. They had a little birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> they idiot, were so sweet. Idiot me. We're sitting there for at least a half hour, 40 minutes. Oh, longer than that, I think. Much longer than that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I just kind of look up where we're sitting, and there's this happy birthday sign, and I'm like, huh, oh, somebody else must have had a birthday here. Yeah, I wonder well, who it was. So I look at her, and I said, did Eggie have a birthday, or did somebody else have a birthday? No, Eggie's birthday's in January. No, <laughs> it's for you. And I'm like, oh, I just now saw the sign. Jeez. Sitting right in front of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mr. So, Observant. So Eggie was really sweet to get That's that all me. together. And Bob, our friends Bob and Kat were there and had, Keely. Had cake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Yeah, yummy cheesecake. Got some wine cups from Eggie. Oh, yes, they're so <laughs> cute. They're so cute. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so that was a nice visit. Um, Monday we got packed up. Yep. To head south, as far south as we possibly can go without... Crossing the border. Yep. Basically. We are near Yuma, Arizona. And it's beautiful. We had one cloudy day, which was yesterday, which was perfect for me because it was the first day of winter. Winter. Winter at solstice. At least it seemed a little wintry with the cloudy skies. And it it was wasn't cool. It was cooler, yeah, because it's been up in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, I keep saying it feels like 90 degrees. <laughs> I like it chilly. <laughs> So to me, it feels like 90. Tom's like, it's only 70-something. Oh, well. We had fun. Myron and Becky we were here. Canucks on Wheels. Check out their blog. Yes. They're on Instagram, too. Lots of good pictures. Oh, yes, they have. Yes. Becky does a great job taking pictures and writing stuff for it. And then, since it felt like winter, she decorated the RV. Well, because we're in our spot for Christmas. We're here. Like you know, we're, we're home for the holidays. We're home for the holidays. So it's like, yay, I get to put up our tree and decorate. And we'll do a little video on on that. Um, yeah. That'll be coming up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, what else? Oh, I did some baking for Becky yesterday. She has to have gluten-free, so she had some gluten-free flour. So I made some pumpkin bread for her with her flour. So it looks like it turned out okay. <laughs> you know, you never know if a regular recipe is going to work with gluten-free flour, but she's brought some from Canada 
and she adds xanthan gum to it something that makes it work like regular flour I guess so it's like a one-to-one -one recipe or yeah recipe mm -hmm. of flour yep so seems like it turned out okay and we went into Yuma and did some shopping yep we needed to kind of top off some grocery shopping went and got propane here for like 240 a gallon I think is what we paid for it and it was 351 a gallon in the Palm Springs area for for propane so it's a good thing I waited till we got here to fill up instead of buying it at Palm Springs. Yeah, we might need to <laughs> top it off before we leave the area again. Before yeah. We head back north. Definitely. Again. So, um, oh, the other night we're sitting in there, we're watching TV, and all of a sudden the trailer starts shaking. And it wasn't us. It wasn't us. <laughs> and it wasn't us trying to open a window either. It was these helicopters. They were flying really low and in this formation was what you said five of them he went running to the door to go military. see what it was there's a few military bases around um plus being close to the border they are always border patrolling yeah. with airplanes and helicopters and things like that and it was weird because it was the night that the rocket was supposed to launch so we had been standing outside for a while waiting for it and then uh, got the word that it had been scrubbed and so we go in and shortly after that here's this <laughs> this loud noise and it's like maybe the rocket did go off maybe you know something happened and we were just joking but it was kind of scary in yeah. a way yeah yeah it's they like, were wow. really super low super low and super loud and it shook the whole trailer and it no it wasn't us <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh we only shake the front end <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello. Um, we're going to have some, ooh, every time a bell rings. An angel gets its wings. Um, we got, be, because it's holidays, we're going to have some really short videos coming up, like on Christmas Day, on Tuesday. Then a week from Tuesday, New Year's Day, it'll be another really super short video. Um, Christmas Day will probably be a little greeting and then like a little montage of stuff. What? You're telling, telling you about the videos. Yeah. And then uh, we'll have some in the future, the desert boondocking where we are out here uh, on northwest of Yuma. It's just, it's so nice. I don't know if you can, if it's going to pick up on video or not, but there's a train going right now in the background, but it's so far away from us. It's, it's just a rumble. low rumble. Even when they do the crossing across Ogilvy Road, you uh, yeah. can hear them do their horn, but it's not obnoxiously loud <laughs> not bad at all this whole no. area is really kind of cool it's all yeah. uh, BLM land and there is a fee area to the west of where we are but we're on the free area for 14 day camping and so. uh, there are new restrictions in this area so you have to be really careful yeah. where you do park because the ranger will come by and say um, you need to move yeah. and we haven't seen a ranger come by yet in the past couple of days so we hope that we're okay I would hate <laughs> for them to come now yeah. and say, um, you're not on the green line, you need to move. But we are on the green line. Yeah. Hopefully it's the correct green line. Yes. So. And one of the things about the desert, and you need to explain, when we take the dog out and mm. we take Bear out for a walk, you've got to watch for these little bitty cactus. Yeah, they're Cacti. only about this high. They're like a blackish brown, but they can be brutal and you don't see it right away and you don't want the dogs walking on it. Plus there's holes that you don't want her getting her nose in because snakes. Don't know what's in there. <laughs> we don't know what's in there. Could be snakes, could be, well, Becky said somebody had said when they were out in the vet in Yuma that somebody had bit, uh, their dog got bit by a snake from putting yeah. their nose in a hole. So if you've got so. pets and you're out desert camping, you need to watch them closely, super close. Yeah, in this area, there aren't any of the, um, the uh, teddy bear cactus or anything like that that the little cactus balls will will get them but there are other types of cactus yeah. but it's not as bad yeah mostly it's just the scrub brush stuff so <sighs> what else what else I don't know It'd be a short one I mean there's really not a lot going on no we <clears throat> talked about what we did quickly and notice there's no tags no tags, yeah. I was, I went and pulled out all the Christmas decorations, and I opened up the box, and it was like, I showed Thomas, look what I found. We already had Santa hats. So first thing I told her this morning was, we're not wearing the ones from Walmart with the tags. 
we're going to wear ours because I don't want any more stuff inside those ones. Doesn't want them to get any dirtier, <laughs> so we can take them back. In Twenty six. They're going back to the Walmart. <laughs> hey, we could take them back now because we do have these. We don't have to wait till the twenty six. Oh. They might. You might go on the twenty six, and they'll say, "No Christmas items returned, especially dirty Santa hats." <laughs> I could, um. I could use that extra two bucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> that about it? I think so. It's a very quick one this morning. Um, top six signs. You're at an awful office Christmas party. Number six. In the interest of not offending your annual baby it's cold outside with Beth from accounting has been canceled. Uh -oh. Number five, the company attorney is sitting in the corner taking notes. Number four, the person you got as a secret Santa loves to cross stitch and kittens. <laughs> Number three, you just found out instead of a Christmas bonus, a donation has been made in your name for the border wall. <laughs> I know, we're not supposed to get political. <laughs> Number two, here we go again. The guy they hired to play Santa, Harvey Weinstein. And the number one reason, number one sign, you know you're at an awful Christmas party. The eggnog is just milk that went bad oh in the break room refrigerator. <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> Cheers. See, all the more reason to not have offices to have to go to the office Christmas party. This is our this office. This is our office. This is it. We love our office. Yes, we do. And I can pinch her all I want and not get trouble. That's what he thinks. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button or and uh, click the little bell. Get notified every time an angel gets its wing and when we put out a new video. <laughs> Yep, we hope you all are enjoying the holiday, Christmassy, every other winter solstice holidays that you celebrate. We hope you're having a wonderful time, and we will see you on Christmas Day. See, see ya. ya! What kind of desert breakfast do I get? Grilled lizard! <laughs>